All right, here we go. Question number one from our 1316 homework number three in my lab math. They want us to find the exact value of the following expression. So we're going to recopy this problem over here. And the first thing that I want to remind you of is that an inverse trig function produces an angle. So we're going to set that equal to theta. And then the next step is we're going to take the inverse sine and bring it to the other side. I call that the magic door for trig functions. So what's going to happen is when you take an inverse trig function through the magic door, it magically turns into regular sine here. OK. So the next step is to remember that sine theta in the unit circle is y. And so what we're really looking for here is we're looking for what angle has a y coordinate of square root of 2 over 2. Now remember in the unit circle, inverse sine is restricted to the first and fourth quadrant. You have to give back an angle that's from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. Okay, so again, we're looking for a y coordinate of square root of 2 over 2. And here it is. This is uh, where we have a y coordinate of square root of 2 over 2 that's within the allowed range. Okay, so that answer is going to be pi over 4 or 45 degrees. The angle we're looking for is pi over 4. And before I plug that into my lab math and check it, I do want to show you that the calculator will do this for you, OK? So we can input inverse sine of square root of 2 over 2. And as long as you're in radian mode, it's going to give back a radian angle there, pi over 4 verified, OK? So now we're going to uh, choose answer A because this uh, expression is defined, and it is defined at pi over 4. And there you go. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.